Hi guys, in the previous lecture we have covered parallel resonance and we have solved some problem based on quality factor, bandwidth and selectivity in parallel resonance. In this lecture we will be covering another type of circuit known as magnetically coupled circuit and we will solve some problem based on magnetically coupled circuit. So till now what we have studied, suppose I have to transfer power to any kind of load then there is one way of transferring is by connecting the voltage source or any kind of active source to load by means of current. So these kind of circuit are known as conductively coupled circuit. Here power is transferred by means of current. Now there is another kind of circuit known as magnetically coupled circuit in which the power is transferred by means of flux not by means of current but by means of flux that that kind of circuit are known as magnetically coupled circuit like in transformer in transformer the current induced in the coil 1 this is coil 1 and this is coil 2 produces the flux so this flux will cut the coil 2 because of which the voltage induced in coil 2 and in this way we can transfer the power to any kind of load got it so these kind of circuit are known as magnetically coupled circuit so in this lecture we will see the magnetically coupled circuit how to deal with the magnetically coupled circuit okay now let us consider one coil is wound on iron rod and there is this is coil number 1 and this is coil number okay and these two coil are nearer to each other so let us say the current i1 is flowing in coil number 1 and current i2 is flowing in coil number 2 so the flux the flux will induced in this coil the direction of flux is given by right hand thumb rule like wound all four finger to the direction of this current current is like this and the thumb will give the direction of magnetic flux this is the right hand thumb rule so in this if I, I want to find the direction of flux in this coil then the direction of flux will be from right to left this is phi 1 according to right hand thumb rule similarly if I want to find the direction of flux in coil 2 then the direction of flux will be from right to left same as the phi 1 now suppose I ask you what is the EMF induced in coil 1? So EMF induced in coil 1 will be V1 is equal to L1 DI1 upon DT. This is the self induced EMF because of current I1 the voltage induced in this coil. Now suppose I bring this coil 2 nearer to coil 1 then what will happen? The current flowing in coil 2 that is I2 produces a flux phi 2 which cuts the coil 1 okay because of which the emf induced in coil 1 known as mutually induced emf that is given by plus minus m di2 upon dt where m is the mutual inductance now this the value of mutually induced emf will be plus or minus it depends upon the direction of flux phi 2 see here the direction of flux phi 2 and the direction of flux phi 1 both are in the same direction okay means the flux phi 2 is aiding the flux phi 1 so overall the flux overall the net flux in the coil 1 will increase so definitely the voltage induced in coil 1 will increase that means if the direction of flux in both the coil are same then the mutually induced emf will be positive so finally i can write v1 is equal to l1 di1 upon dt plus m di2 upon dt where i2 is the current flowing in coil 2 now i will replace this inductor by its equivalent circuit which is given like this this is l1 okay and i will connect one dependent source whose polarity is such that it will aid the total voltage and it is given as m 
di2 upon dt and this is my v1 okay see here i1 current is flowing here like this so the voltage induced in this inductor will be like this and m di2 upon dt so overall if you will find v1 v1 is equal to l1 di1 upon dt plus m di2 upon dt so we replace this magnetically coupled circuit by its equivalent like l1 inductor connected with one dependent source whose value is given by m di2 upon dt okay now suppose i want to find the induced emf in coil 2 that is v2 then how will i find v2 v2 is equal to l2 l2 is the inductance value of this coil l2 di2 upon dt this is the voltage induced due to self flux now there is also one more flux present in coil 1 that is phi 1 and this phi 1 will aid the phi 2 because the direction of phi 1 and phi 2 are same that's why the mutually induced emf will be positive which is given by m di1 upon dt so mutually induced emf emf is nothing but the current flowing in the neighboring branch produces a flux phi which links the main coil producing the mutually induced emf so v2 can be written like this so in this way we can also make equivalent circuit like l2 having dependent source whose value is given by m di1 upon dt and this is v2 and current i2 is flowing like this so you can see here that if the direction of flux in both the coil are same then the mutually induced emf aiding the self emf and overall the voltage across that coil increases got it so in this way we can make the equivalent circuit now consider the second case in this case also the direction of first find the direction of flux so direction of flux in this coil will be somehow according to right hand thumb rule will be like this phi 1 and in this case in coil 2 and this is coil 1 here also phi 2 so both the flux are in same direction so you can write the voltage equation like this v1 is equal to this is l1 di1 upon dt suppose i1 current is flowing in this and i2 current is flowing in this plus why in plus because the direction of flux are same in both the coil m d i2 upon dt same as the previous one like we have seen in these two coil similarly v2 can be written as v2 is equal to l2 d i2 upon dt this is the self uh, induced emf plus why plus because the flux direction of flux in both the coil are same so m d i1 upon dt in this way we can write the voltage equation in any kind of magnetically coupled circuit and we will replace these two inductor by its equivalent circuit having one inductor and dependent sources according to the polarity given now see this third case this is the third case suppose i1 current is flowing in this coil and i2 current is flowing in this coil having inductance l1 and this is having inductance l2 now see here first find the direction of flux so in the in the coil 1 the direction of flux is according to right hand thumb rule will be like this okay and in coil 2 this is coil 2 the direction of flux according to right hand thumb rule will be like this here you can see that both the flux are not in same direction that means the flux produced in coil 2 will oppose the flux produced in coil 1 similarly the flux produced in uh, coil 1 will oppose the flux produced in coil 2 so overall the net voltage will get reduced because of different direction of flux so in this case if i will write voltage equation how will i write v1 is equal to l1 di1 upon dt this is the self induced emf and there will be one mutually induced emf which will oppose the main emf why because the direction of flux is different so this is given as minus mdi2 by dt 
okay and we can make the equivalent circuit like this having one inductor whose voltage drop is equal to ldi1 upon dt and one dependent source whose polarity will be opposite to the self induced emf ldi1 upon dt so this will be this, uh, this is plus to minus so this will be minus to plus having value m di2 upon dt this is current i1 and this is voltage v1 got it since the direction of both the flux are different that's why the mutually induced emf will oppose the self emf and overall the voltage across this inductor will get reduced now if i want to write the voltage v2 how will i write v2 is equal to self induced emf that is equal to l2 di2 upon dt minus why minus because the flux direction of flux phi1 will oppose the phi2 so overall voltage will get reduced minus m di1 upon dt in this way we can write the voltage equation okay now see this case number 4 here also if you will find the flux in coil 1 this is coil 1 suppose i1 current is flowing here so the direction of flux we, you will get like this phi1 and here the direction of flux you will get phi2 here so both phi1 and phi2 are opposing each other so overall the induced emf in both the coil will get reduced so v1 can be written as l1 di1 upon dt minus m di2 upon dt same as the case 3 similarly v2 can be written as l2 di2 upon dt minus m di2 upon dt now remember one more point here m is the mutual inductance produced in coil and uh, in the case number one and two this is case number one and this is case number two in case one and two you are getting plus m right and in case three and four you are getting minus m why because the direction of flux are opposing each other remember one thing here m is the mutual inductance that is always greater than zero m can never be a negative value right but the voltage induced in the coil may be positive or negative that's why we are getting in case 1 and 2 plus with plus sign and in case 3 and 4 with minus sign remember these things mutually induced emf may be positive or negative but m must be greater than zero got it now in any kind of circuit it is not possible to represent the current direction in inductor and to find the flux direction it is not possible uh, 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 in complex circuit so what we do we represent these four cases by dot how let us see see there is one dot convention like if current enters from dot or leaves the dot simultaneously then the mutual flux aids the main flux and voltage induced by mutual flux is positive this is case one and case two see here current is entering and here also current is entering and if i will place one dot here this is my dot if i will place one dot here and if i will place one dot here and one dot here if current is entering from the dot in both the coil or if current is leaving the dot from both the coil then the mutual flux aids the main flux and voltage induced by mutual flux is positive that is how we are denoting got it that means convention one is the combination of case one and two okay so in this case suppose two inductor are like this and direction i1 is like this and i2 is like this and current enters from dot if current enters from dot in both the coil current enters from the dot or second case like this this is i2 and this is i1 in both the coil the current leaves the dot in both the cases the mutual in flux aids the main flux and voltage induced by mutual flux is positive so v1 is equal to l d i1 upon dt plus m d i2 upon dt this is the voltage induced in coil 1 and v2 will be 
L2 Di2 upon Dt plus M Di1 upon Dt. This is the voltage induced in coil 2. Now see the convention 2. If current enters from dot in one coil and leaves the dot in another coil, then mutual flux oppose the main flux and voltage induced by mutual flux is negative. See here, if current enters from one coil and here is dot, I have placed one here, uh, dot here, and if current is leaving the dot, I am placing one dot here. Here the current is leaving the dot and here the current is entering the dot. Then the mutual flux will oppose each other and the voltage induced in this will be somehow lesser than the self induced voltage. Suppose I take two coil current I1 and this is current I2. If current is entering the dot in one coil and current is leaving the dot in one coil and the fourth case is like this I1 dot and i2 dot in both the cases the mutual flux oppose the main flux and voltage induced by the mutual flux is negative so suppose i want to find the voltage v1 so v1 is equal to l1 di1 upon dt minus m di2 upon dt so you have to keep in mind the dot convention in order to represent the magnetically coupled circuit by its equivalent because in all the circuit you will not get the direction current direction like this so it is necessary to make one convention such that all the four cases can be explained easily similarly v2 can be written as l2 di2 upon dt minus m di1 upon dt only you have to see the convention here the current is entering the dot and here also the current is entering the dot that means the voltage induced in this coil will be positive here the current is entering the dot in one coil and current is leaving the dot in one coil means both the flux are opposing each other therefore the voltage induced by mutual flux is negative got it so you have to keep in mind these dot convention okay now understand one more point that is coefficient of coupling denoted as k now we have seen earlier that if two coil brought nearer to each other then there will be some mutually induced emf in both the coil okay so energy present in both the coil is given as 1 by 2 l1 i1 square plus 1 by 2 l2 i2 square plus minus m i1 i2 this plus minus will depend upon the dot convention which we have seen earlier so energy is given in both the coil like this okay so we can write above equation like this a minus b this is i1 under root l1 minus i2 under root l2 ka whole square plus i1 i2 into under root l1 l2 minus m if you will expand this a minus b ka whole square then you will get same like equation 1 so we can represent like this and we know that energy can never be negative means this whole value must be positive so whole value this is a minus v ka whole square this is always positive right this is always positive means this must be greater than zero so i write this like under root l1 l2 minus m must be greater than zero so we can write like this m less than under root l1 l2 and there is one proportionality constant k m is equal to k under root l1 l2 where k is the coefficient of coupling so what do you mean by this coefficient of coupling mathematically we derived coefficient of coupling but practically what is mean by this suppose i take one inductor and above which i place one more inductor having same number of turns and i have tightly wound that means here the k is equal to 1 where the value the here the value of k will lie from 0 to 1 what does this mean this means it is tightly coupled means all the flux produced in coil 1 will aid or oppose the flux produce produce in coil 2 so this is tightly coupled okay similarly if k is equal to 0 what do you mean by the k is equal to 0 k is equal to 0 means if there is one inductor here having current i1 and one inductor here having current i2 and there is no any mutual flux between these two coil that means these two coil are 
isolated to each other means k is equal to 0 got it now let us see how we will do the connection in magnetically coupled circuit let us take first series connection here i am taking series adding what do you mean by series adding see here here the current enters from the dot in both the coil current enters the dot and here also the current enters the dot that means the mutually induced emf in both the coil will be positive so i can write vl1 is equal to suppose the inductor this is l1 and this is l2 l1 di1 upon dt right plus why plus because the mutually induced emf will be positive according to dot convention here current enters the dot in both the coil means m di2 upon dt right we can write since it is connected in series so we can write i1 is equal to i2 so l di by dt plus m di by dt we can write like this because i1 is equal to i2 is equal to i similarly we can write vl2 is equal to l di2 upon dt plus m di1 upon dt this we have explained in previous slide here i1 is equal to i2 so l1 di upon dt plus m di upon dt so what will be the total inductor value let us suppose v is the net voltage across both the inductor so v is equal to vl1 plus vl2 so add these two equation equation 1 and equation 2 you will get l1 plus l2 plus 2m di by dt we know that v is equal to l equivalent di by dt hence l equivalent is equal to l1 plus l2 plus 2m so if two coil are connected in series such that current enters the dot into coil or leaves the dot into coil this is this case is also possible leaves the dot into coil in both the coil the current leaves the dot here also mutually induced emf will be positive and you will get same value the value of l equivalent will be same that is equal to l1 plus l2 plus 2m now see the series opposing connection here in one coil the current enters the dot and in another coil the current leaves the dot so according to dot convention the mutually induced emf will be negative so we can write vl1 vl1 is equal to l1 di1 upon dt we will do analysis same as the before minus m di2 upon dt here since both are connected in series so current will be same that means l1 di upon dt similarly vl2 i can write l2 di2 upon dt this is the self induced emf minus mutually induced emf will be negative according to dot convention so we can write l2 di upon dt minus m di upon dt here i1 is equal to i2 is equal to i so overall net voltage vl is equal to di upon dt hence l equivalent will be l1 plus l2 minus 2m similarly for parallel connection also can be found here also you can say first one is the parallel adding and second one is the parallel opposing how you will came to know that this is parallel adding it is adding see the direction in both the coil the current enters the dot means parallel adding here parallel in parallel opposing in one coil current enters the dot and in another coil current leaves the dot means this is opposing self induced emf will be uh, sorry mutual induced emf will be negative here mutual induced emf will be positive here mutual induced emf will be negative so overall the procedure would remain same you have to find this like uh, applying kvl here and applying kvl here overall you will get l equivalent is equal to l1 l2 minus m square by l1 plus l2 minus 2m and in this for parallel opposing l1 l2 minus m square by l1 plus l2 plus 2m okay in this way you can find the equivalent inductance connected in series or parallel now see the transformer t equivalent circuit 
let us consider one transformer having this is circuit 1 and this is circuit 2 this is primary and this is secondary and the mutual inductance between coil 1 and 2 is denoted as m so how will i write the voltage equation and this transformer can be represented in the form of t equivalent circuit so let us first write the voltage equation here you can see that here current enters the dot in coil 1 also current enters the dot in coil 2 so overall mutually induced emf will be positive got it means i can write v1 is equal to self induced emf that is given by l1 di1 upon dt and here mutually induced emf is positive that means it will be in plus m di2 upon dt similarly i can write v2 v2 is equal to so we can arrange the equation one like this what we are doing we are adding m di1 upon dt and we are subtracting m di1 upon dt so this equation and this equation are same here you can see that this is l1 minus m and this is m and here the current is flowing is i1 plus i2 so if i will write kvl equation here i will get the same voltage value so we can represent this transformer by t equivalent circuit like this similarly i can write like this also so if i will write the kvl equation in this loop then i will get same like this if i will write the kvl equation in this loop then i will get same like this so overall this transformer can be represented in t equivalent circuit whose value is given by l1 minus m l2 minus m and m now see there is another case possible see here in this case the current enters the dot and here current leaves the dot that means mutually induced emf will be negative now write the kvl equation and here mutually induced emf will be negative why because both the flux of coil 1 and coil 2 are opposing each other so m di2 upon dt v2 can be written as l2 di2 upon dt minus m di1 upon dt we can arrange this equation 1 and equation 2 same as the previous one in order to get the equivalent t circuit so whenever you are getting any kind of problem based on transformer then first see the dot convention whether the current enters the dot or current leaves the dot and apply kvl in order to find the parameter that is being asked okay so whatever we have studied let us solve some problem based on that in this problem three inductor of value 8 henry are connected and dotted are shown like this and current i is flowing and we have to find the overall equivalent l equivalent so in series connection we have seen l equivalent is equal to l1 plus l2 plus 2m right plus minus 2m plus is taken when both the flux adding each other and minus is taken when both the flux are opposing each other so how to find the l equivalent here l equivalent in order to find the l equivalent what do you do first add the self inductance of all the inductor that is equal to 8 plus 8 plus 8 this is the self inductance now we have to play with the mutual inductance so you see the coil number one and coil number two this is having mutual inductance to henry and see current enters the dot and here also current enters the dot in between coil one and two current enters the dot and in this coil two also current enters the dot that means the mutually induced emf will be positive so overall you will get plus 2m so write plus 2 into 2 m is the 2 henry okay this will be in plus now see coil 2 and 3 coil 2 and 3 have mutual inductance 2 henry and current enters the dot and in this coil 3 current leaves the dot overall these two are opposing each other the flux produced by the coil 2 and 3 are opposing each other according to dot convention so mutually induced emf will be negative so i will take minus minus 2 into m m the value of m is 2 now see the phone and 3 current enters the dot current leaves the dot so mutually induced emf will be negative that means i will take my in minus minus 2 into the value of m is 200 so overall you will get 24 
minus 4 that is equal to 20 Henry. Now see the second problem. In this problem circuit is at resonance and we have to find the value of k where k is the coefficient of coupling which we derived in the previous slide and whose value is given by k is equal to m upon under root l1 l2 okay we know that at resonance xl inductive reactance is equal to xc and xc is given as 12 ohm right now first find the l equivalent of these two coil here see the current enters the dot and here the current leaves the dot so overall l equivalent will be l1 plus l2 minus 2m okay multiplied by omega omega l equivalent is equal to omega l1 plus omega l2 minus 2 omega m we can write x l equivalent x l equivalent is equal to x1 plus x2 minus 2 omega can be written like this only and m can be replaced by k under root l1 l2 that means x equivalent will be x1 plus x2 minus 2 take omega inside this is k under root omega l1 into omega l2 that is equal to x1 x2 x equivalent is given as 12 because circuit is at resonance so xl is equal to xc and this is 8 plus 8 minus 2k under root 8 into 8 so finally you will get k is equal to 1 by 4 see the next problem see this circuit is neither in parallel or nor in series two coil are in parallel and equivalent will be in series but this is magnetically coupled circuit so we cannot write directly the combination of this parallel combination then taken in series and overall l equivalent i will get this is not like that here the circuit is uh, magnetically coupled so you will get this kind of magnetically coupled circuit which are neither in series nor in parallel it is a combination of series and parallel then first draw the equivalent circuit so first i will find the voltage across this inductor l1 due to self induced voltage as well as mutually induced voltage we will find first the voltage across this l1 the voltage across this l1 will be this is l1 and the voltage across this will be self induced emf that is equal to l1 di upon dt here current i is flowing now talk about the mutually induced emf see l1 and l2 coil 1 and 2 the current enters the dot and here also the current enters the dot that means the mutually induced emf between coil 1 and 2 are positive so we will replace we will place one dependent source such that it will be from plus to minus whose value is given as m12 mutually induced mutual inductance between coil 1 and 2 and d i1 upon dt here the current in coil 2 is i1 okay and these are mutually induced emf are of same polarity because that uh, the flux of coil 1 and 2 are aiding each other now see between coil 1 and 3 coil 1 and 3 the current enters the dot and current leaves the dot so mutually induced emf will be negative means it will be from minus to plus and value will be m13 d by dt of i minus i1 so that's complete the equivalent circuit across this inductor l1 now i will make the equivalent circuit across this inductor l2 so across inductor l2 the first is the self induced emf that is equal to l2 d i1 upon dt i1 current is flowing so l2 d i1 upon dt now see the mutually induced emf between coil 2 and 1 so between coil 2 and 1 current enters the dot and here also the current enters the dot means the mutually induced emf will be positive so we will place one dependent source mutually induced emf will be same as the self induced emf the polarity will be same because the mutually induced emf is positive whose value is given as m21 and 
di upon dt okay now see the mutually induced emf between coil 2 and 3 between coil 2 and 3 current enters the dot and here the current leaves the dot so it will be in negative means minus 2 plus and whose value is given as m 2 3 d by dt of i minus i1 current flowing in uh, in coil 3 is i minus i1 so that's complete the equivalent circuit of coil 2 also now find the equivalent circuit of coil 3 see in coil 3 first is self induced emf that is l3 di minus i1 upon dt okay now see the mutual induced the in between coil 1 and 3 current enters the dot current leaves the dot so mutually induced emf will be negative from minus to plus okay and whose value is given as m31 di upon dt between 3 and 1 okay now see the between 3 and 2 between 3 and 2 also the mutually induced emf is negative because current enters the dot and current leaves the dot so here also the mutually induced emf is from minus to plus and value is given as m 3 2 di 1 upon dt now apply kvl take this loop first and then apply kvl in this loop okay so if you will apply kvl here then you will get let us suppose this is vs okay so minus vs plus l1 di upon dt di minus i1 upon dt okay this can be written like this l1 minus m13 plus m21 minus m23 di upon dt is equal to vs where vs is the source voltage that can be written as l equivalent di upon dt okay think the value of l1 l2 all the value we will get vs is equal to 6 di upon dt plus 16 di1 upon dt this as a equation 1 apply kvl in this loop you will get vs is equal to l1 di upon dt plus m12 di1 upon dt separating di by dt and di1 upon dt and equating the value of l1 l2 l3 and mutual inductance you will get vs is equal to 16 di by dt minus 10 di1 upon dt this is equation second subtract this equation 1 and 2 you will get hence di1 upon dt is equal to 10 by 26 di upon dt this is equation third now put the value of di1 upon dt in equation first you will get vs is equal to 6 di by dt plus 16 into 10 by 26 di by dt and that vs is nothing but l equivalent into di by dt l equivalent into di by dt so l equivalent will come out to be 6 plus 160 by 26 that is equal to 12.15 henry in this way you can find the l equivalent of any magnetically coupled circuit only you have to draw the equivalent circuit of that magnetically coupled circuit and then apply the kvl now see this problem we have to find the resonance frequency so this is very easy resonance frequency omega naught is equal to 1 by under root lc we know that in f naught is equal to 1 by 
2 pi under root lc so if i will find the l equivalent of this circuit c is given as 2 farad so i will get here current enters the dot and current leaves the dot so mutually induced emf will be negative means l1 plus l2 minus 2m l1 is 2 plus 2 minus 2 that is equal to 200 so resonance frequency will be 1 upon 2 pi under root 2 multiplied by 2 that is equal to 1 upon 4 pi in hertz okay now see the last problem in this problem it is asking find the power loss in one ohm resistor and the direction of current i1 and i2 are given and these two coils are mutually coupled so first you need to make the equivalent circuit of this magnetically coupled circuit how will you make see the direction of current here current i1 and here is current i2 okay i2 is move, uh, flowing like this and i1 is flowing like this so here you can see that current enters the dot and here current leaves the dot so this is negatively coupled got it so in negatively coupled circuit mutually induced emf will be negative so first draw the equivalent circuit of this first circuit then we will draw the equivalent circuit of second circuit so equivalent circuit will be like this this is 50 at an angle of 0 okay this is minus 2 plus this is i1 this is 2 ohm now this is having inductive reactance is equal to 2j so this will be like j2 okay and the polarity of induced voltage will be like this now we have to draw the mutually induced emf here it is negatively coupled so mutually induced emf will be opposing the self emf so it will be like minus 2 plus and whose half value is given by as j4 i2 okay this is the equivalent circuit of first okay now draw the equivalent circuit of second here the voltage drop will be from plus to minus i2 is flowing like this in this inductor the voltage drop will be from plus to minus and in this capacitor the voltage drop will be from plus to minus now apply kvl in second loop the uh, the the capacitive reactance will be since the input frequency is 2 so 1 upon omega c that will be j1 minus j1 okay so draw the equivalent circuit this is i2 voltage drop across this 2 ohm will be 2 i2 minus j1 now the voltage drop across this will be inductor will be like this plus to minus this is j4 now draw the mutually induced emf since it is negatively coupled so direction will be such that it will oppose the self emf self emf is from plus to minus so it will be minus to plus whose value is given as j is the mutual reactance j i1 sorry this is not j4 i2 this is mutual mutually induced emf so i will take mutual reactance that is equal to j i2 now this is circuit 2 and this is circuit 1 apply kvl in circuit 1 and 2 and find i1 and i2 you will get it first apply the kvl in circuit 1 that is equal to minus 50 at an angle of 0 plus 2 i1 plus j2 i1 minus j i2 is equal to 0 so we can write like 2 plus 2j i1 minus j i2 is equal to 50 this is equation 1 now apply kvl in loop 2 you will get i2 plus minus j i2 plus 4j i2 minus j i1 is equal to 0 so separate i1 i2 you will get 1 plus 3j is equal to j i1 okay this is i2 this is equation 2 now replace the value of i1 by putting in 
equation 1 you will get i2 that is equal to 9.434 this is the magnitude of i2 and that is the maximum value you have two equations solve i1 and i2 you will get i2 magnitude of i2 is equal to 9.434 and that is the maximum value because the source voltage i have taken in maximum value so the response will also have a maximum value so i2 rms will be 9.434 by root 2 okay so power dissipated across 1 ohm will be i2 rms square into r r is 1 ohm so finally if you will square this i2 rms you will get power that is equal to 4.04 watt okay so that's all about this lecture if you guys understand the concept then please like share and subscribe this video and for doubt solving you can join our facebook group and also please review this video whether you are able to understand all the concept or not thanks for watching this video